Greenville City Council will vote on an emergency ordinance tomorrow calling on Governor McMaster to issue a mandatory stay at home order. We caught up with people around downtown Greenville and got their thoughts about it. Fox Carolina's Brooklyn Cromer live in downtown tonight. So, Brooklyn, what does this mean for people in Greenville? Well, Cody, if this passes, it applies to the stay at home order applies to people in Greenville, but also the entire state of South Carolina. Now, this ordinance also encourages people in the city to stay home and practice social distancing. While coronavirus cases continue to rise in the upstate, some people believe a stay at home order is needed to stop the spread. I believe it's needed. Um, it's, it's really running rapid. Our family is from New Jersey and New York area, so it's really scary to know that it could get to that level. Greenville City Council is voting on an emergency ordinance Friday, urging Governor McMaster to issue a stay at home order for the state, while also asking people in the city of Greenville to stay home. The city of Greenville needs to play our part. We're a great city. We always lead in everything we do, and I think we can really lead out in this effort to conquer this virus. City Council is asking the governor to issue the order for a minimum of 14 days. If it takes us all staying inside to do that for the next two to three weeks or whatever time period, then I just think it's the right thing to do. The ordinance strongly encourages people to stay in their homes, except for the purposes of working or conducting essential business. City residents are also strongly encouraged to follow social distancing practices, maintaining at least six feet from other people. If passed, the ordinance would also give officials the authority to fine people up to $100 per day if they violate the governor's order. We live right here downtown, so one of our main activities is just getting out to walk around with the dogs, getting some fresh air, being a downtown business owner, walking by the business, making sure everything's okay. So there'll be some change, but it's a good change, and I think it really needs to happen. Well, City Council will vote on the emergency ordinance in a virtual meeting tomorrow morning. Live in Greenville, Brooklyn Cromer, Fox Carolina, the 10 o'clock news.